Okay, so this is P2 sample assessment paper. So for number one, f of x is divided by this, remainder is this. So from here you get x equals to 1. So you find f of 1. So you replace the value of x as 1. And the remainder is 7. So this thing is equals to 7. So from here we get this equation. Show that 3, wait. One plus, so, sorry, sorry, we have 1 plus 1 plus 2. So that will be 3. And uh, when you divide it by uh, x plus 2, as in x is minus 2, so you find f of minus 2 and equate that to minus 8 because remainder is minus, minus 8, you will get another equation. So that's equation 1. That's equation 2. You solve these two equations to find the value of a and b. Uh, so this is a GP series. The first term is 20. So a is 20. Common ratio is 7 by 8. Sum to infinity is uh, s infinity. We need to find the value. So the formula for sum to infinity is a by 1 minus r. So that will give us the value for sum to infinity. Uh, then we need to find sum of 12. So the formula of sum of n is this. And since r is less than 1. So in this line, uh, you need to replace a. a is 20. r. r is 7 by 8 n is actually 12 because we are trying to find the sum of 12 okay so that will be the value for part b then for part c sum to infinity minus sum of n less than 0.5 so for sum to infinity we already know this value right wait let me just find the value sum to infinity is 160 so sum to infinity is 160 and sum of n is this one you just need to replace a and r but n will be n because we are trying to find the value of n s n so you just find sum of n and then you need to solve this equation so 160 is sum of n then this is sum of n terms then you just need to solve this you need to take log on both side and then divide while shifting this thing at the right side uh, you just check whether this is negative if this is negative in that case this less than sign will be greater than sign because you are shifting negative sign at the right side so solving this will give us the value for n so this is the trapezium rule so for trapezium rule we uh, need to substitute the value of x here to get the y coordinates let me uh, so when you substitute half here answer has to be three decimal place then for 0.7 you get another value 1.741 and uh, use trapezium rule to as in instead of integration in instead of integrating this thing with lower limit 0 upper limit 1 we can use this trapezium rule so the formula for trapezium rule is this half h y naught y n 2 into y 1 y 2 dot 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 as in h is the gap between the x coordinates so in our case h is 0 0.25 uh, 
the y coordinates the first y coordinate will always be y naught even if the x coordinate is 2 3 doesn't matter the starting y coordinate is your y y naught the last y coordinate is y n and the remaining are y1 y2 y3 if you have few more values than y4 y5 you just need to add them up here in this section So y naught is 1, 2 into this 3 values here, this 3 value you just add them here plus y n, y n is 2. So solving this will give us the values. So this is an alternate method to integration. Uh, then uh, to get more accurate result for any trapezium rule to get more accurate result is it's, uh, suppose you divide this into two trapezium if you divide that into four or five trapezium in that case uh, the area will be more accurate so to increase the accuracy you just need to uh, increase the number of strips number of trapezium that's it so use more trapezium increase the number of strips or decrease the width it's the same thing because initially if you have uh, two values suppose two three four the width is one but if you increase the number of trapezium the width will be 2.5 3.5 so width will be 0 0.5 0 0.5 so this is from proof by exhaustion so this is not divisible by 4 so like I said you can just select random values of uh, n and check whether they are divisible by 4 or not so this is n you find n square you find n square plus 2 okay so for n you just find n square then n square plus 2 and then you just check the values so you can select up to 1 to 9 or in this one they are selecting 1 to 6 so you get n square plus 2 so as you can see when n is odd you get odd values right odd values which are not divisible by 4 uh, so if we just look at the even numbers uh, 2 for 2 we get 6 for 4 we get 18 so these are not divisible by 4 right and as you can see n is actually uh, when n is odd uh, for this one 4 it's a divisible it is divisible by 4 this is divisible by 4 but that's n square if n square is divisible by 4 if n square is divisible by 4 n square plus 2 will not be divisible by 4 because for it to be a divisible uh, div, uh, for it to be a um, multiple of 4 it has to be at a difference of 4 right so n square plus 2 so the difference is 2 again then again you can just look at the values 6 18 38 these are not divisible by 4 so either doesn't matter whether it's even whether it's odd it is actually not divisible by 4 and most probably this is the math which i have solved in my uh, video of this proof by exhaustion so you can check that one okay so this is some proof for some to some of n terms Okay, so for uh, this is a proof for sum of n. Okay, so that's just the derivation thing. You will get this thing from the student's book. That's the uh, basic uh, form formula, the, the formula of sum of n terms. Okay, next we have a company is making 200 mobile each week. Number of mobile increases by 20. So this is D and 20 is the starting point. So this is A. Find the value of n. 
600 in nth week so 600 is my nth term a equals uh, nth term equals to two, what a plus n minus 1 into d so you solve this you will get the value for n we need to find the total number that will be made in the first 52 weeks so you just find sum of 52 that's it you know a you know 20 you just need to find the sum of 52 Mm, this is normal basic log math. You shift this thing at the left side and Then this will be minus this equals to minus 3 then for negative for negative you need to divide So 2x by 5x plus 4 equals minus 3 when you subject this you get 2 to the power minus 3, right? So you just solve this to get the value of a similarly this uh, this is similar to the last one so you just subject uh, you take log a but for that one you need to shift this 3 here then log a so you have y into 2 cube 8 so 8y equals a to the power 5 so you just find y in terms of a Mm, this is the basic uh, for that one for coordinate of C you just need to find the completing square format so you find the completing square format and find the value for the center of the circle and radius then y coordinate the curve intersect the x equals to 3 this is x equals to 3 intersects with the circle so you just substitute x equals to 3 in the circle equation and solve to get the y coordinates Okay, then you need to find the length of OX. Tangent from O touches the x-axis at X. Like this. There will be a tangent from the origin that will touch the X curve at X. So we need, to we need to find the distance of OX. So you just join them and form a right angle triangle. So in this one, we, have, we know the radius from here. We know the centers, so we know we know zero zero is the origin, so we can find this hypotenuse. We know radius, we know the hypotenuse, so we can find OX using Pythagoras formula. <coughs> this is easy. This is just the at first you need to solve this equation to find the intersecting point. Then for area, you just need curve minus curve. Area bounded by these two curves, so the this one above uh, which is above this second curve this is the equation so for example we have line minus curve or curve minus line in this one we just need to deduct the curve so this equation minus x cube you deduct the equations and the limits will be the intersecting points x coordinate you convert them into tan so sine 3 theta equals root 3 cos you divide cos here you get tan 3 theta and then just you go for go with the basic acute angle thing to solve this uh, in this one you just replace sine square with 1 minus cos square and then solve this thing you just need to find the value for uh, cos x so since we have k you can use minus b plus minus that formula this one when you replace and solve simplify this you get this middle term equation and a is 4 b is minus 1 c is minus k minus b plus minus b squared by 4a uh, by 2a so you solve this to get the value for cos x so that's the end of p2 sample assessment paper